My fiction writing teacher offered extra credit for anybody who wrapped this piece in our book, um, and it's called The Fall Guy's Faith by Robert Coover. And uh, I have no backing beat, so this is just gonna be me, straight up rapping. Fallen from favor or grace, some hot art fist down the dumped, down he dumped like a discarded predicate through the through what he called space, sometimes he called it time, and with an ear splitting crack splattered, the base, earth, and his vital attributes. <laughs> oh, I've had a great fall, he thought, as he lay there numb with terror, trying desperately to pull himself together again. This time, or space, I've literally done it. He had fallen before, of course, short of expectations, into bad habits, out with his friends upon evil days, foul of the law, in and out of love, down in the dumps, indeed, as through, egged on by some mark, by some malevolent metaphor, generated by his own condition, he had always been fallen, had he not? But this was the most terrible fall of all. It was like the very fall of pride, of stars, of Babylon, of cradles and curtains and angels and rains and dead fall of silence and sparrows, like the fall of doom. And it was, in a word, as he, kn as he knew now, surrendering to the verb of all flesh, the last fall, his last anyway. As for the chips, he sighed, releasing, th releasing them, for let them fall where they may. And why was that? He wanted to know. Why was it that everything had happened to him that had, had seemed to have happened in language? Even this, almost as though without words for it, it might not have happened at all. Had he not been nothing, an idle trope within some vast syntactical flaw of existence, had he fallen, had he worried, as he had closed his eyes for the last time and consigned his name to the history, may he take it or leave it, his juices to the soil. Was it soil? Merely to have it all, said he, said he had fallen. Merely to have it said that he had fallen. Ah, tears tumbled down his cheeks, damping echoing thereby the greater fall. Now so ancient that he himself was beginning to forget it, a further fall apart perhaps than the rest, this forgetting. A fall as, <laughs> as it were, a fall as it were within a fall. And it came to him in these fading moments that it could even be said, born to fall. He had perhaps fallen simply to be born, birth being less than it was all cracked up to be, so to coin a phrase. Yes, yes, it could be said, what, what cannot be said, what cannot be said, but he hadn't quite believed it, didn't quite believe either the accident, with, that accident, that accidents held the world together, world together. No, if he had faith in one thing, this fall guy, he came back to this now, it was this, in the beginning was the jester, and that jester was, he opened his mouth to say it, aloud, to prove some point or other, but too late, his lips cracked into a crooked smile, and the words died on his lips. This is my end screen, and this is my end screen song. Yeah! So apparently Anna is going to watch me while I attempt to rap. Um, so this is... Well, who wouldn't want to <laughs> watch you while you attempt to rap? So, I think it's going to be hilarious! <laughs> Word. <laughs> yeah, I know you're trying to sound cool there, <laughs> but that did it. <laughs> in our room like 24 7. <laughs>